What's up guys, I'm Shane. Welcome to the off season of our North Texas Dynasty. Could you imagine last season if we had stayed in Conference USA? We would have just smoked everybody. Probably could have gone for a national championship the way the rest of the season broke down. Although maybe UCF would have been undefeated too. Nick Smith finishes with 41 touchdowns in the season. He also broke the career rushing record. Hell, he did it in just this season. Hopefully we start seeing some passing records fall. And Alabama smokes Auburn to become the national champions again. Let's see, anything of note here? Yeah, Temple smoked Fresno State 23 to nothing. It's going to look real funny when Fresno State's national champions in two years. Appalachian State, yeah, see, I might bring them with me to the Big 12. USF lost its bowl game. Kansas got blown out. Wow, thanks for coming, guys. Miami beat UCF. I was wondering where they went. So UCF got to go to one, too. The American Conference got two teams in the BCS bowl games. And we both lost. We have a B-plus or championship contenders. We're number 15. We go 63, 48, and then 13 in 2017. We're going to be fine. We're going to bounce back. Passing yard record isn't that bad, though. 3103. Between on and fine, we came close to that. So final stats on the season. Austin on. Yeah, 25-92 for the season with 20 touchdowns and 12 picks. Not bad. Definitely came up. Mason fine, on the other hand. 11-19. Five touchdowns and 13 picks. Whew. Nick Smith, 19-28. Oh, yeah, a couple more rushing yards. And he would have had the... Uh, that record we would have broken some stuff fine with 168 yards on with 135 hardy with 71 nick smith with almost a thousand yards receiving as well three touchdowns harris with 602 with eight darden finishes his career 677 and three touchdowns alberting ended up having four yeah blocking darden three pancakes all in that one game evan johnson with one pancake simpson with one pancake and other than that it's just sacks being given up it's reassuring knowing the Juco left tackle did not give up a sack all season. Murphy finishes with 70 tackles, 17 TFLs, 4 sacks, and a pick. Davis, the senior, finishes with 63 tackles, 5 TFLs. Muhammad, 59, 3 TFLs, no sacks, no interceptions. Johnson has 3 picks, Whitlock has 3 picks. Johnson with 51 tackles, Whitlock with 48. Azukwu, 44, 12 TFLs, 4 sacks. And Noville and Dotson tie. They both have nine sacks apiece, and so finishes with six. Jacobs with a sack. Walker got three, and Colvin got two, just in the Fiesta Bowl. Our punter goes three for four on field goals. Hopefully he'll never have to try one again. As a punter, though, he was all-conference, so there's that. And in kick return, Zach Weber, award winner. 1490 yards in kick returns with two touchdowns. And then he has 22 punt returns for 359 yards and a touchdown. And we are still an A-plus prestige head coach. And I have to make a decision. One of these guys are getting all my points. It should be Donald Smith. I can't make that strong of a case for Matthews. And John Brown, we do need some linebackers, but a 70 overall, I feel like it's not worth throwing my points at. All right, Kelvin Smith is still here. And we kept our defensive coordinator. Eric Adams wants to transfer. Okay, bye. Nick Smith will be drafted in the fourth round. And he will be the only one drafted, apparently. Tried to get you the Heisman, it didn't quite work out. We're gonna miss you, but I think we'll be all right. Cam Johnson's out of here. We'll miss him. He he made some good plays. Davis, one season to start, and he's out of here as well. You played well, man. You were definitely not my least favorite safety. Mason Fine, I'm sorry it didn't work out in the game like it did in real life. I kind of wish I hadn't redshirted you. It didn't seem to help me at all. Jason Pirtle, you know. Zugwu, you were helpful. David So had a pretty quiet senior season, but was definitely outshined by some of the other defensive men's and defensive tackles on the team. But I will miss him. Oh, Jalen Darden. 93 overall wide receiver, and we can't get him drafted. What a shame. Don't you worry. You're one of the guys who's going to find yourself on an NFL roster. I'll make sure of it. Kyrie Muhammad also did not get drafted. Noville. Oh, breaks my heart that he doesn't get drafted. For a 78 overall, what an impact he had. I'm going to miss him, man. He'll be in the NFL. And that's it. That's our graduating class. Yep, Nick Smith did end up going in the fourth round. 
Anyone want to come in here? No. All right, well, just because I have the points to burn, I'm going to offer Beard here a scholarship and see if I get an instant commit. I don't know if that works in the offseason. Yes, it does. So we just locked up Beard. I'll offer to uh, Weddle one, too. He instant committed as well. All right, well, and everything else goes to Donald Smith. All right, let's go to signing day. Let's see what happens. We got Smith, and that's it. Yeah, the right end went to Louisiana Tech. John went to Tulsa. We didn't sign anybody else. Sign a top five class. I'll take it. No one even went after Smith. Texas Tech didn't even go after him. We wasted our points. If I had split the five, like, five, five, and five, we would have signed all three. So we finished with the number four class. Behind Texas A&M, Alabama, and Ohio State. That's some good company to keep. All right, it's time for some position changes. This is going to be very interesting for us. And I kind of hate the fact that it happens before the training results. Well, Parker, I have a feeling you're going to transfer. Just a hunch. All right, so I believe the best option for Warda here is so we're going to put him over at right guard. And we're going to redshirt him and start Moe's so when Moe's graduates, we'll still have four years of Warda. Murphy's going to right outside linebacker. Dan Talley will go to middle. I forgot Cardwell's coming back too. So we got Whitlock, Gaddy, Phillips, Cardwell, plus some athletes. We got Bonds. We're going to red shirt like half our secondary. Holy cow, Whitlock goes up to an 84 at free safety. All right, these athletes. Russ Simpson, 81 overall quarterback, 81 overall wide receiver. Yeah, you're going to quarterback. Shaw will be a wide receiver. I'm actually going to throw Donald Smith at halfback. I'll throw Phillips at, straw, at uh, free safety because he goes up to an 80. All right, so I'll have Pitts at least as a floating second safety. Eh, maybe I will put Smith at wide receiver. So we'll go Simpson, Shaw, Harris, Smith. That'll be our top four. I actually might redshirt Smith. All right, guys. Here's the big one. Let's go to the training results. And... Oh, it's the thing of beauty. Good God. Austin On gets a plus five. 77 speed now. 91 excel. 87 awareness. Throw power is 83. Throw accuracy is a 90. The rest of these don't matter because hopefully none of you guys ever see the field. Tory goes up to a 90. Johnson goes to an 84. Hardy gets a plus five to an 82. Our number four running back gets a plus six. Weber with a plus five. Simpson gets a plus four. Harris gets a plus four. Lyle's a plus five. Ward a plus five. Greg White, plus six. Jackson, a plus four. Nothing to his speed. Lyle's nothing to his speed. We've got so many wide receivers, I might cut a 77 overall just because he's only got 71 speed. All right, so wide receivers. I, I wanted a little bit more, but I'll take it. We didn't throw the ball much. Albert Ng gets a plus six, though, up to an 83 overall. Anderson gets a plus four. Wire, who didn't even play, gets a plus five. Clark with a plus six. Moe's with a plus five. And Saria, who got redshirted at a plus six. Unfortunately, Quinn only got a plus three. Now I kind of wish that I had taken the uh, the incoming left tackle and put him at right tackle. I didn't realize that was going to be such garbage. Dotson gets a plus six. And Beck with a plus five. So our defensive line is starting to get some depth. Plus five to Huggins. Hagen with a plus five. A 74 overall would have been starting for us, and now he's going to get benched for the incoming freshman. Walker with a plus five. Keller with a plus five. Brown with a plus five. Grayson Murphy with a plus four. Davis with a plus five. Jacobs gets a plus five. Wood gets a plus four. That's unfortunate because you're both going to be sitting behind a 71 overall. Gabriel Murphy only a plus five. So we get to give him a couple more points because he'll definitely be getting that plus seven. That'll bring him up to an 81 overall. And I'm probably putting those points into his speed. Cornerback Whitlock plus five. Gaddy only a plus four. Cardwell a plus five. Morris a plus five. Roberts with a plus seven. We get to redshirt all the freshmen. Look at what we got going on. Yeah, Bracken got a plus seven. We got a plus five to awareness. 94 kick power and 87 kick accuracy. And our punter got a plus six. Yeah, those, I'm really happy with those trading results. Now it's just a matter of managing the redshirts. Yeah, Lyles, you gotta go, man. 71 speed. It's not gonna cut it here. God, I feel bad because I really like Jackson in the beginning. But he's only got 74 to speed. I can't do it. I gotta, I gotta let you go. Uh, Parrish, you can go. 
I hate to cut someone in their senior year, but you're not going to make it. I don't see Martin or Bean ever taking the field, to be fair. Bean's got some speed on him, but he's still a worse overall, so I'm going to cut both of them. Yeah, I don't need three redshirt seniors on here. I'm sorry, bud. And I guess we're going to shorter. All right, so here we are. This is our new Big 12 conference. I have taken Appalachian State because I didn't really feel like taking Colorado State. I also left Fresno in the Mountain West because I figure... If they're already projected to be that high of a ranking, they can get to there by themselves. They don't need the Pac-12. Now, as far as protected rivalries, uh, no one really had one. I protected North Texas with Kansas because, I don't know, we that was our first Big 12 victory. And an Appalachian State is protected with West Virginia. The geography doesn't work out. Appalachian State should not be in the South, but that's just what happened. They came from the Sun Belt. They should be used to this. The American Conference, I put Cincinnati back. And the MAC, I just threw UMass back in there. And the Sun Belt just has seven teams, because no one cares about the Sun Belt, apparently. Well, I feel like New Mexico State, you do not get to be an independent. You're dragging everyone else down. You go to the Sun Belt. All right, let's go to the preseason. All right, I'm going to go, I'm going to click here and skip the recruiting just so you see I'm not creating any prospects, but I will take care of the recruiting board later. All right, well, since I accidentally went and set up my entire recruiting board, this is why I never click in there. Time to take care of the red shirts. I am going to stick with Russ Simpson on the red shirt. I'll have Kevin Shaw as the backup right now. And then Russ Simpson will get the start next year, probably regardless. Halfback, I am going to redshirt Scott Hardy. Wide receiver, Shaw is a higher overall. But his speed and acceleration are just lacking. So I'm hoping that redshirting him, hopefully he can pick up a couple points. Mickey Irvin, I'm going to redshirt. Because if I'm going to have one of these guys starting for me in the long term, I'd rather have Irvin. Offensive line, I mean, I'm not really doing a ton. Griffin will get a redshirt. He started last year because we didn't have wire. And then for Warda, we'll take, we'll get the red shirt. It, all the name changes, anything that happens will happen before the next episode. Huggins, I'll give him the red shirt. D tackles, I gave Massey a red shirt. Linebackers, nobody's getting a red shirt. Cornerback, I looked long and hard at red shirting Gaddy, but he'll probably get one next year. We'll have Roden, Morris, and Bonds all getting a red shirt. Free safety, I'm red shirting Pitts and Estes. And then Green caught a red shirt over here. Now here comes the custom schedule. Oh, Arkansas State is a rivalry too? Yes, they are. I did not know that. All right, so we'll start the season at Texas A&M. We went from a cupcake team down to an easy one. We got some pretty easy games. Take a bye week, home for Mid-Tennessee, home for SMU, home for Oklahoma, another bye week, at West Virginia, home for Arkansas State in our third rivalry game I didn't know about, at Appalachian State, home for Texas, home for Kansas, home for TCU, at Baylor, and at Texas Tech. Still only got a B strength of schedule, but I really want to have these rivalry games because it helps with the recruiting. And we're not really pushing for the national championship this season. It's going to be next year. This year, if we can, that's great. I'm trying to get the team set up as well as possible because we're probably going to go like six and six. So easy games, it'll help. All right, so that wraps it up for the off season. I will give it some time. It'll be a few days before the next episode goes up. So be sure to hit like on this video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And get the bell to get a notification when it comes back. But most importantly, if you want to name any of these incoming freshmen, and we've got a bunch, you've got offense, defense, anything. We've even got a punter if you want to get named after them. Let me know down in the comment section below. And regardless, anything that you say down there in the comments i will always reply to unless you are the trolliest of trolls that'll wrap it up for me today guys i'm shane i'm out